chat to the property owner and I'm, I'm just on my way into a bit of a shady creek on a dam where these big bulls are supposed to be bedded up. Uh, he's seen him from the chopper when he's been mustering the last few days and he's left them alone for me so it's pretty warm up here, pretty stinking hot. Um, as expected the end of September on Cape York so hopefully they're close to water bedded up. We'll get down in the creek here and take it a bit nice and slow and see what it see what it produces. So I'm down in the creek bed now. You can see behind me those larger trees and stuff, that's where, that's the sort of spot they bed up, there's not a lot of shade for them. We saw the boar I spooked. I thought it was alone. Um, there's two real big fellas with it. And they trotted off on a went another 30 metres and uh, a young bull walked past so I slotted him um, just just right here and then while I was waiting for it to fall over I could hear it. 50 yards down the track, another one walked past, you probably just saw that, and I clean missed it. Um, I was watching a spot too high on its shoulder and I shot straight over it. Um, but it's real hot right now and there's another mob I've just seen come into the shade and there's a couple of real big fellas with it, so I'm gonna wait, try and recover my arrow, because I've only got one left. Um, chill out for a bit and see if I can get close to this other big fella. everywhere. Big sow just walked up to me about five yards away and ran. I only got one arrow so I didn't want to waste it on a sow. Um, I shot that good boar laying down. I hope I caught it on film with the head cam. About 15, 17 yards facing away from me and I put the arrow where I was looking. It didn't look like it went too deep but there was good blood so um, I'll give him some time. It's a big 200 grain northern so it's got plenty of cutting area I'll just let him I'll let the broadhead do it sing and give him 10 minutes and I'll go and find the first one that I shot well, that could be one of the craziest bits of bow hunting I've ever had um, <clears throat> only a couple of hours ago there was a young guy here on the property with a dog 
and I was setting my gear up and he was asking me if I've ever been charged by a boar and I said in all the years I've been hunting with bow never it's, I've never been in a situation where I've been charged by a boar and sure enough I walked towards that clump behind me that green rubber vine and a big boar just stepped out quick shot complete pass through perfect shot and he just stood there um, there's the arrow I just picked up it was insane so I'm gonna go and um, try and find him give him a bit but there's another another one that just pulled up in the rubber vine here and I've got just that one arrow left in the target arrow so I'm gonna see if I can get two with one arrow and um, go and round them up what a day so that's the boar um, that was better down laying away from me at about 15 to 17 yards oh, I snuck into about 15 um, I thought it was a I didn't think it was that good of a shot um, at the start but it shot him through the back here and it came in probably only one lung uh, he made it actually I'm, I'm right where I shot the first ball like about a meter away so I've done a big circle for three balls but he's laid down as you saw in some of that footage he's laid down here he wasn't well he was on his side I just couldn't get a finishing arrow in him because there's a stump where his shoulder is of course Murphy's Law um, and I didn't want to get in thick stuff here in case he was more lively than what he looked and have another charge like the other ball so um the old 200 grain northern did its job it actually went straight through sorry that way and the finishing shot I shot him that way he came out below his hip and the broadhead's fine it's good to go just to resharpen uh, he's a good boar I've seen six or seven in this little area here this afternoon I shot three I missed one um, there's more on the other side of the dam but I'm gonna give him a rest for a while get some water into me it's stinking hot it's um 35 degrees which doesn't sound like a lot but it's it's pretty hot and um, yeah good session loving the recurve again thanks Jack for getting me back on the bandwagon and uh, we'll go and find the other ones get some arrows back and see how the shot placements were come back in the following morning and I've found the um, the other boar, the one that I shot laying down, um, entry wounds in here, it's gone into one lung, he's gone a fair way, he's probably covered a kilometre, maybe more, maybe 1.2 kilometres, um, better down, but you can hear the crows in the background, there was a, a heap of them sitting in the tree above him, so they gave him away, he's already starting to stink, not a bad boar. Again the um, 65 pound Hoyt Satori, 600 grain arrow, 605 grain, busted through a rib and um, put it in there, it was a pretty, it was a hard shot, it was a well placed shot but it was a hard shot because it was a lot of, was a lot of bone there but um, it did the job, so I'm pretty happy, three from three, I missed one, so three from four I guess. Pretty good hunt. Um, keep going now because I found found all three of them. Cut some tusks out and, and keep going.